Huntsville when I moved here, and uh, we hang out a lot back in the mid nineties. So I guess mid to late. you went to school with Nastanovich. Bob and I went to high school together in Richmond. So that's kind of how I met uh, the payment guys and David in New York when I moved to New York and went to Bob's place and hung out with them, got to know them. What was that Whitney Museum? Yep, the Whitney Museum. We were guards. I got took over David's uh, spot as a guard when he <laughs> had a um, summer job. He uh, he's recommended me. They hired me, and then David came back after that summer, and we stood around for eight hours a day uh, guarding art. <laughs> were you solo, or is there any? I guess I'm trying to picture all three of you standing there together. Uh, well, the sometimes they would put you on the same floor, oh, so cool. you'd be in one corner and you'd see Steven in another corner and David in another corner and they'd all be like, we'd be looking for this, the head guy, make sure he wasn't around and everybody'd be <laughs> writing something down nice. <laughs> or reading a book. Very cool. <laughs> so you didn't, I mean, you wasted a lot of time there, but I think both of those guys were writing a lot of their um, lyrics and things mm -hmm. and getting a lot of inspiration from the art too, you know, listening to the docents and you know, just seeing people and that was like early 90s yeah from like 90 to 95 or so that's around when you got into pavement too i suppose yep yep right around then when gary left the band in like 93. cool yeah you were on two silver deeds records um or more let's think a couple of them. the first like one an right? EP, i think Walker and then Yes, it was Starlight Walker, and then I helped him like mix and record a couple others. <coughs> yeah. Cool. Was it, were you in touch with David through that time or? Oh yeah, we yeah. were good friends until he died. You stayed good friends with him that whole time? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, we had our differences, but we were buds. I mean, I guess. Was that, is that the whole reason the Masters even formed was to go? It was because David was like, okay, I'm going to do this. You want to get that band of yours to play live? And he said we could play in Asheville with him. And I think it was maybe another city. Yeah, it was Asheville and, and was oh, it Raleigh, I think. It was a Raleigh and, yeah. So that's the whole reason yeah. the Masters formed was to go play with Purple Mountains. <laughs> On the... On the tour that didn't tour happen. that didn't yeah. guess they didn't play any shows at all. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Did you know Robert Bingham at all? Or is yeah, that... I knew Bob Bingham. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> what was any stories to share about him? Um, he had his loft in Manhattan. And he had this big giant pool table, like a full-size pool table. And everybody would go over to his place and play pool. And I think it was above a strip joint, so he'd always be hanging out with strippers. <laughs> or something to do with the strippers. I wasn't a part of that. <laughs> um, but it ended up at when he died, um, his pool table went to Stephen, who now has it in Portland. So at some point, that big pool table from Manhattan was shipped out to Portland and it's in Steven's uh, living room and I played pool with him a year ago when we were rehearsing for that whole pavement thing. Oh, that's awesome. Y'all ended up doing two world tours with pavement last uh, One tour for years. about uh, one whole year uh -huh. and then some, you know, festivals and stuff last year. That was, mostly. That was the first time since 2010? Yep. Yeah, we had to um, wipe off all those cobwebs and mothballs and <laughs> all those things. Which is funny because I didn't know him yet, and but I went. You, you remember PJ that was at the Union Pool thing? Yeah. That's uh, I, I went to go stay with PJ so we could go see you guys at Central Park. Uh huh. <laughs> it's all like night three, I think. And not the rainy night. Not the rainy night. Okay. No. Was that a bad night? No, I mean, actually, <laughs> all the nights I thought were good. I thought whatever night we saw was a great night. The rainy night. Maybe it was, it was the rainy. second night. I don't know. There were four, I think. And, yeah, three or four nights. Yeah, yeah, and we didn't get for the first night, and I think we got for the second. Uh-huh. 
Little did you know, we Little were going to know each other. That I, that, yeah, that we did up in a band together. <laughs> That's right. Just never know. <laughs> is it going to be another 10 years before pavement again, or is there anything in the works? Uh, we're playing in um, South America in May. That's why I asked you about that today. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to be there like four shows in May. So there's that, and who knows? Is that a festival type situation? or? It's one big festival, and then like three of our own shows in three different cities. So it's going to be like four nights, four shows, and six nights. It's going to be a whirlwind. Yeah. Like that's a quick trip. Yeah. yeah, I like it that way. But I like that we're playing one big show, but it's the last one, and we haven't practiced or been together for six months. So we'll play the smaller, our own shows, which back in South America probably won't be really big. Probably like under 1,000 or 800 or 500 people. I don't know. Wow. Um, and cool. then we'll get to play those cities and then be able to afford to do it because of the festival. Gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. Yeah. How do you all rehearse now that everybody's spread apart like they are? <laughs> we were always spread apart. We oh, yeah. never rehearsed. <laughs> we just went out to uh, <laughs> Stephen's house in Portland for about two weeks or more and rehearsed this for this last thing. And then uh, when we go to South America, it's going to be a hotel uh, room rehearsal. Okay. With some tiny amps. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you guys had a day before Raleigh that you... you, you yeah. Did, yeah. Yeah, uh, and we actually had, that was a real rehearsal for that one, but this one's going to be a little bit more dicey, but it'll be all right. I mean, we are right. playing pretty much the same songs that we played a hundred times last year and the year before. Very cool. Yeah. You're, uh, it seems like one of the only ones from that, I guess, originally Virginia crew that stuck around. Um, everybody else moved away from back then. Yeah, um, let's see, Bob, where does he live now? He's kind of in Kentucky now. Yeah. Um, and then fourth day was passed on, Steve was in Portland. So yeah, I mean, my family's in Richmond, so it was good to settle down here and be close enough to them, but be you know, in my own little area. I live in Lexington, just okay. south of here, yeah. Very cool. So yeah, come up here once a week to practice. Sometimes play some shows. Yeah. Awesome. I, um, well, I don't want to keep you guys forever. I know you got stuff to do, so. Yeah, my, my, usually there's a second band.